Rubber gloves. Yes, I know what you're thinking, but they are biologically degradable. Available in your local health shop now. Now, we need the tender young leaves. And let's not forget, men, there's nothing wrong with being tender. Let's explore those yang sides. They grow so wild and free. They are a bit like me. Come on and test your metal with a nettle. Always remember to give thanks for the food you have picked. Thank you, Mother Earth. Thank you, Father Sky. Thank you, Hedro, for yielding to us these yet tender young nettles that we may use them to nourish our souls. Okay, we haven't got time to waste! Hurry up! You silly hippie! Oh, I hate hippies! It's okay, guys. Just hang loose, yeah? Ooh, yeah! Right. So welcome, brothers and sisters, to my kitchen. The first thing we must do is wash our hands. One of the great sacrifices of the path I've chosen was having to forsake tactile rubber on my hands, on my body, all over. But it's great now that I've discovered this biodegradable stuff. First, we must remove the leaves from the stalks because that is all we want in our dish. You know, this gives me an idea for a dance, the dance of the nettles. Ooh, nettles, ooh, nettles. Hey, ages later. And now, Let's wash the nettles. I cleanse thee, brother and sister nettles. I cleanse thee in peace and harmony. We don't just cleanse them physically, we cleanse their auras as well, because we wouldn't want nettles with uh, bad psychic auras in our dish. More importantly, we wouldn't want any birdies poo. So you clean your nettles, right? Oh, ooh, pyramids, wow! Now, a lot of people don't believe in the power of pyramids, but we're going to prove once and for all how useful they are in chopping onions. Just put the vegetables under the pyramid. And mere seconds later, <laughs> there we are, the power of pyramids. And it even works with garlic. Oh. Wow! Now heat a pan, man. Now we use our margarine to fry the vegetables. Naturally, this is a vegan one. Seconds later, <laughs> it's ready. And now let's add the onions and the garlic. And now let's stir them all around so they get energized by the margarine, brothers and sisters. Um, next. And now let's add the nettles. Ooh, yeah. As the nettles cook, they will lose their sting and they will be safe for you to consume. However, if you are a paranoid sort of person, get some dock leaves. It might look like a lot of nettles, but as they cook, they will bubble down into their divine essence. Next! Gah, hippies. Sea salt and peppercorns. Crystals, very important things. And now let's add the spring water, gathered freshly this morning from morning dew and crystal springs. And now, while that boils, let's do some Tai Chi. La 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 la. La 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 la. Peace and love! And now that it's been boiling five minutes, we're ready to go. Now let's add the soup to the liquidizer. Of course, the struggle that I'm having with this liquidizer is symbolic of the struggle with life. And now, man! I like to think of this bit as adding vital life force. To be here. And lastly, let's add some soy milk. The soy milk makes it extra creamy. Hi, I brought you some daffodils, man. Hi, Andy, universal yeah. being of universal life and sweetness. Love. Sweetness and being, thank you for the daffodils. Forget about those daffodils, you new age nettle nibblers, and let's get down to a vegan nettle soup. Ooh, yeah, fry yeah. up onions and garlic in vegetable margarine, and now add washed young nettle tops, and then salt and pepper. Next, whack in some water and boil for five minutes. Next, if you've got 